hope you all did well on your first chapter test in calculus. And so now we're going to look at the second unit of study. And the second unit of study is, whoa, again, is going to talk about the idea of limits and continuity. Okay? So first of all, pause. Okay, sorry for the pause. Back at you. Now let's see that we have this function here, f of x, x cubed minus 8 over x minus 2. And we want to see what happens to this graph as we approach the x value of 2. Because um, if we look at this graph, we notice that there's a hole there in the graph. Now, we could just calculate the values here. So for example, if I input some values less than 2, so you see here's my values less than 2, and I get closer and closer to 2, I should be able to make an approximation. So if I put this in my calculator to ten, oh, 4 decimals, seriously, but I would get 10.5625. Now I want you to look for a pattern. 1.9 would be 11.41. 1.99 would be 11.9401. And 1.999 would be 11.994. So what number do you notice I am, I am approaching as the x value approaches 2 from the left? Now, if I come from the right, if I put 2.25, I have 13.5625. Let me minimize this. 2.1 would be 12.61. 2.01 would be 12.0601. And then 2.001 would be 12.006. So you can see that if I'm approaching from the right and if I'm approaching from the left, it looks like we the limit would be 12. So it should be obvious that as x gets closer and closer to 2, the value of f of x becomes closer and closer to the value 12. So we say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 is 12. And this is written, do you remember this? The limit as x approaches 2 of f of x is equal to 12. Or the limit of the actual function as x approaches 2 is equal to 12. Now, the informal definition of limit is what is happening to y as x gets closer to a certain number. Um, in order for a limit to exist, we must approach the same y value as we approach some value c, from either the left or the right. Now, we would say the limit does not exist if we are not approaching the same number from the left and the right. So, Remember that if we want the limit of f of x to approach the value c from the left, we are going to write x and then approaches c and then like a minus sign from the left. If we want to approach from the right, as x approaches c and then a plus sign in the exponent. Okay, let's do a couple of examples and see if we recall this. So example number one. This says, what is the limit as x approaches 1 from the left of f of x. So as I approach 1, I notice the y value is also approaching 1. Second part, what is the limit as x approaches 1 from the right? Well, I notice that I'm approaching the y value of 2. What is the limit overall as x approaches 1 from the left and the right? Well, if I look here, if I go from the left and the right, my fingers are not coming to the same point. So therefore, the limit does not exist. But do we know, this says, do you know the value when x is 1? Well, according here, the solid ordered pair is at 2. Okay, we're reviewing a lot of vocabulary here. Okay, now example number 2, what is the limit as x approaches 1 from the left? So I come along the left, and it looks like I'm approaching negative 1. What's the limit as x approaches from the right? I am approaching positive 1. Now, since I'm approaching different numbers from the left to the right, the limit does not exist at 1. However, is there a value at 1? Yes, and it's not either negative 1 or 1. Can you believe it? It's 0. Okay, um, let's do just two more, and then I'll let you do your practice problem. So the next page, and I'm going to scroll down. Now, if you'd like to look at this page more in depth, I have uploaded this document into, um, your, um, into our website under Documents. Okay, let's look at example 6. So example 6 says that as I approach 2 from the left, huh, what's going on there? That's interesting. And then as I approach 2 
from the right. Okay? Now, it looks like I am approaching, from the left, I'm approaching positive infinity. And then from the right, I'm approaching negative infinity. Okay? So then, am I approaching the same value from the left and the right? No, you're not. This is a vertical asymptote. Okay? And is there a value at 2? No, there is not, because this is an asymptote. Okay? Let's maybe do one more, and then you're off to the races. Okay, example 7. As I approach negative 2 from the left, Oh, looks like I'm approaching infinity. As I approach negative 2 from the right, looks like I'm approaching infinity also. So since I am approaching infinity from both the left and the right, the limit then at negative 2 would be infinity. Now, is there a value at negative 2? No, that is a vertical asymptote. So the value does not exist. Okay? Now, that's all for tonight. So you do the problems 1 through 12 on the worksheet that was given out in class. If you do lo lose it, it is uploaded in your documents on the website. That's it, folks.